You know how sometimes you find something and it just sparks a memory? That's what I've just had. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. Hope you're enjoying the channel and the series. Please subscribe and hit the notifications bell down there. So, uh, in this video, uh, you know what? I'll tell you exactly what I've just done. I've come across an old jumper. Now, I'm in the middle of uh, rejigging this studio um, somewhat, uh, just uh, preparing for the winter, really, because I'm going to be doing a lot more. Uh, in here uh, videos uh, and also just uh, when the light is right just going to be shooting a lot more outdoors as well now i was out all day yesterday got a lot of footage and been uh, doing lots of editing so it's kind of filming day editing day today but i thought i'd take a bit of time to go through this mess here and uh, just rejig it a little bit. Now, I know there's a lot of clutter in the background, but it's also my workshop as well. You know, it's um, it's a studio, it's my office, it's, uh, let's say, it's my workshop, so it is what it is. But as I was going through a few bags, I found an old jumper. Now, it's an old jumper. It's an old tatty old jumper. It's warped, you know, it's not very stylish anymore. Uh, that's probably because this jumper is... No, it's got to be getting on... For, that can't be right. 40 years? No. Uh, 30 years old. It's got to be 30 years old now. Um, and it's still in pretty good condition. Now, <laughs> the reason why I've kept this jumper... Um, it's got nothing to do with you know the aesthetics of it oh i just this is my favorite jumper well it kind of was for a, for a certain uh, time but it's what it represents now i love going on journeys i love going on my explorations and things like that but this this jumper has been with me uh throughout many of my um journeys many of my adventures uh, abroad um uh, obviously a lot of my bike riding as well and especially in the early days uh, this was why my jumper that I used to keep me warm on those winter rides as well you know it's very dear to me and as soon as I saw it I forgot I had it but as soon as I saw it it brought back lots of memories from years ago so I, th I thought you know would I ever throw this away and well, I'm not sure it really smells that great. It probably smells a little bit of damp and mould being in here, but, you know, would I ever throw it away? And I think, you know, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Would I? Would I? Mm, no, I wouldn't. Boo. Would I necessarily hang it on a wall and say, look, there's my favourite jumper, look at that. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that either. But I think it's just a personal thing that it it just reminds me of so many different journeys so many different places that i've been to all around europe and united states i don't know or wherever else i've been um the caribbean you know what you need a jumper in the caribbean i well there you go <laughs> i thought i'd need it as well but very rarely you wore it um so yeah it kind of reminds me of that really and all those to say all those times i was out on the bike and i needed something to keep me warm then that was my go-to jumper so you know from well you know 30 years i've had that and it's um it's like an old friend it is like an old friend but anyway so what i wanted to um talk about really was the workshop uh, or the um, studio and really what should i uh, do with it um, so I'm shooting this on the SLR. I'm not. Um, I'm not using the GoPros uh, for this or the Drift for this. Um, so I'm shooting on the SLR, and I thought I'd sort of take you around the studio uh, of where I'm going to be making a lot more of the videos. So let me get that diesel bike. Now you might have seen this in a couple of the shots uh, recently. Will I ever finish it? So this is uh, an engine and gearbox uh, that I've built and it's basically for a project, a diesel bike project, um, which I started but I never finished. Yes, a diesel bike uh, 
project. So basically, you're going to put a small diesel engine. I've uh, married it up to uh, a BMW motorcycle gearbox. I've created these adapter plates. So that's all ready to go. I just need to find a motorcycle frame uh, to fit it all in. Up here, that's um, these are all the covers of the motorcycle magazine which I uh, published and edited and was a photographer and lead writer for um, for a few years, uh, sort of for a couple of years, and uh, the Dura Rider Gazette. So that's all done and dusted now. And say so here, I'm going to be doing a lot more of my shooting in, in this kind of area with the videos. Uh, and then over there, that's just the, the workshop, which I'm not really going to do much with there. So, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about old biking and new biking. Now, old biking, I kind of come from this kind of background. Magazines, you know, motorcycle magazines and love them. Love all sorts of different types of magazines back in the day. Hence why I started my own motorcycle magazine because I wanted to create something that was completely unique uh, for the motorcycling world. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't quite take off. And also, I kind of fear for these magazines now because they're in the decline, really. Because online is taken over. You know, YouTube is taken over or has taken over online magazines uh they're in the they're the in the ascendancy print media is dying really you know they're they're struggling to fill the pages with actual you know worthwhile content um you know and it's either just full of advertising pages now this is not a criticism this is just the way it is so motorcycle magazines well i think they've they're not dead but they're in the decline um, unless they go into a real niche market, but then, you know, for an older generation, they'll probably still look at the, the coffee table reading, you know, but the younger generation, it's all going to be online, uh, all on the smartphone, and, that, and that's what they want to, you know, absorb. So, so the, the bike magazines are a little bit like my jumper, you know, they're, um, you know, they give me a warm, cozy feeling. There's uh, lots of memories in these kinds of magazines, you know, what, for whatever the different types of riding, uh, but I'm not really gonna use it anymore. Uh, and that's really what I feel about uh, the bike magazines. They're not really uh, fit for purpose, you know, going forward. They still have a place right now, but looking to the future, you know, I'll, I'll be lucky to well, I, I, I won't be reading them because I can get that content uh, online through videos or through, you know, blog pages, that kind of thing, blog sites, which is sad, really. And we've got to consider the, the cost of, you know, the printing and the production of a magazine. They're expensive to buy. They're expensive to produce when you can produce exactly the same content online for a fraction of the cost. cost. The distribution is free and uh, you're, you've got a worldwide audience. It's kind of a no-brainer, really, when you when you come, come to think about it. The older generation, you know, they'll still uh, favor the paper content, but as the years go by, it's gonna, it's gonna go by. So, you know, very similar to my old jumper here. Now, instead of just having one thick jumper, really, we're gonna go for lots of base layers and all modern, you know, moleskin stuff now. Uh, that's gonna keep us warm when we need it to be. So that's it really, that's the state of affairs for um, uh, for bike magazines, unfortunately. They are in the decline, uh, just like us all. We're all in the decline, I suppose, in one, one form or another. Um, lots of great memories in those magazines that I've had, um, but new memories being formed. And there'll be new memories being formed in this uh, in this uh, studio, uh, in this man cave, really, I suppose, in the next uh, few months. Um, so still gonna be doing lots of uh, on-bike videos, still lots of travelogue, and still lots of uh, riding times to come up uh, until Christmas. Uh, but there's gonna be a lot more videos made in here over the next couple of months, the so winter months as well. Yeah, but old, new, new, old. Right, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this video and uh, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell for all the latest videos. Uh, that will come up very, very soon. Catch you next time. Cheers.
Hello.